Well, Lisa, when I went in to see The Avengers, knowing it was packed with Marvel superheroes, uh, it sounded like a mega hit. It sounded like a fanboy jackpot. But frankly, I was a little skeptical because it also sounded like it might be too much of a good thing. Uh, but I think the best thing that Joss Whedon, who directed the movie, has done, he has set them up not just against a super bad guy, but against each other. All these clashes of power and ego, that's what the movie's about. And I think that's very smart and fun and very true to the spirit of the comics. I had an interesting reaction while they were having their bantering. Their little dialogue was cute and I didn't care. Mm. I felt like we are seeing Marvel characters, and just the fact that we talk about them as Marvel characters, we are seeing these commodities come back and be reassembled in a new way to make yet another structure of what to do with comic books. I felt like every single line they said was a parody of what somebody would say, and it started to make me depressed. We can get you some therapy for that. No, but... I don't think we need therapy for that. I think we need a change of movies. I think we need a change of milking Marvel characters, comic book characters, combining them in different structures. I feel like we have reached the end. This is a beautifully made film. I think that this is really well done. I think Joss Whedon did what he needed to do with it. I thought the script moves along. You like the special effects, great. You like 3D, so what? Well, because I think this movie does something different and something new, which is what you're asking for. We've seen a lot of superhero movies, and I'm sort of tired of bad ones. Mm. But this one, in combining these characters, does something that was always there in the comics. They often had more than one. I'm not just talking about the Avengers. There's some real drama to it. I thought it was kind of like 12 Angry Men. Oh, I felt like it was putting this sort of cute neo-modern drama on top of it. Because you know what? They're comic book characters. So whether they're arguing with each other or not, it yeah, but the, strength, but the strength of this movie is that, and of the some of the Marvel films over the last couple of years, like Captain America and Thor, which I really liked, is that the actors playing these characters are terrific. I gotta say, they could keep talking all they want and arguing all they want. I felt like I'm turning the pages of a comic book. Give me something more. Well, but what's wrong with that? I don't want all movies to be comic books, but the fact is that comic books are drama and they're spectacle, and this movie has both. The plot is actually pretty standard. I mean, that's the yes, reason. That is, is my qualification the, on the movie. You know, I, I, I had the strangest reaction. Appreciated what he did, and I felt like it was vacant. I think you've just decided that this is a moment where you're going to be down on comic book no, movies and so. on the way that our whole culture has turned into comic book no. movies. I would like to see fewer comic book movies and better ones, but I think this is one of the better ones. There's a lot of chatter on the internet already. People want to love this movie so much that it's, better, that it's better than The Dark Knight and stuff. I don't agree. Let's put it in its place. It The plot does run on a kind of synthetic franchise fuel. That's the limitation. But these actors are good. They create yes. some real sparks. And the spectacle at the end, although I would say it's pure kind of Michael Bay level, um, it's good Michael Bay. Well. And watching these characters sort of team up together is pretty exciting. What he said.